And now I'd like to talk about eye defects and various procedures for correcting those eye defects, including the use of combination lenses. Uh, here I have a single lens, and a flight comes up and passes through that lens. There'll be a certain focal length. I can change the focal length by putting another lens in combination with it, and I'm going to show on the chalkboard optics how we can put lenses in combination and change the uh, focal length of the single lens. To do that, I'm going to turn the lights down and turn on the uh, light source here for the blackboard optics. So here I have a, a single uh, lens, and it has a certain focal point or focal distance. If we want to change the effective focal length of that lens, then I can put another lens in combination with it so that we have uh, two converging lenses close together, and we see that the effective focal length is quite a bit uh, shorter than it was before. In a, similar way, in a similar way, we can take a, a, a short focal length uh, lens, thinking of this now as a single lens, and put in combination with that a diverging lens that's thin in the center, thick at the edges, and we can lengthen out the focal length. So we can lengthen the focal length with a diverging lens. We shorten the focal length with a converging lens. Now I'd like to demonstrate that uh, using the uh, laboratory bench here. To do that, I'll turn the lights back up again here for a minute. So as we turn to the laboratory bench, here I have an object, and here I have a lens, and this simulates the eye. This uh, screen here simulates the retina of the eye, and the lens simulates the uh, combination of cornea and lens of the eye. It behaves as if it were a single lens. And uh, let's see if, uh, if that uh, eye is uh, properly adjusted to uh, form a sharp image on the receiving surface or the retina for this object located at this distance. And we see that it is. To demonstrate that, I'm going to turn the lights back down for better contrast. And we see that now that uh, the, the lens of the eye, together with the distance between the retina and the lens and the distance of the object are all matched up so that we get a nice sharp image on that, uh, on, on that uh, retina. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to uh, assume that this particular person that has this, this particular eye is farsighted so that that person can see objects a long distance away but has difficulty seeing objects when they're brought up close. Now, in the case of the, the real eye, uh, most people are able to accommodate some for bringing objects up close by changing the shape of the lens as the object is brought up closer. That's the little uh, crystalline lens that's behind the uh, cornea of the eye. That lens can change shape with muscular action. But in the case of this eye, we're going to keep the focal length of the lens fixed, and we're going to accommodate with a combination of another lens. So let's bring this object up close and show that, uh, that the image on the retina of the eye is blurry in this case. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll set the object uh, at that position and show that we have a blurry image. And then let's go ahead and correct that with the, uh, with the corrective uh, uh, lens. And we see with the corrective lens, We've actually shortened the focal length of the combination, and we now have a sharp image on the retina of the eye, showing that we can accommodate with eyeglasses and uh, see clearly an object up close if we have the proper combination of lenses. In this case, the eyeglasses would make use of a lens that's a converging lens. We use a converging lens for corrected, correcting farsightedness. Farsightedness is where a person cannot see clearly when the object is up close.